It's gonna be an upset 90th minute goal for us. Guaranteed. There you go. Call for it. Upset. Inbound. Yeah. That's it. Get ready, right? Come on. Oh, I'm going. And the fourth official confirming that All the way. Have one additional you minute. He's reading it. I got him. Cut. Meg. Let's go! Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Lesky here with my third episode of Coach Lesky, where I show and explain how to perform the most effective skill moves in FIFA 21. For episode 3, we will be going over the Elastico and the Reverse Elastico skill moves. Both of these skills are very easy to pull off once you get used to it and understand how to perform the skill moves in the correct situations. But then over time with practice, y'all should be able to use these moves consistently and effectively, which will have your opponent sweating in their palms trying to defend you basically. Because these moves can be very scary if you're trying to defend against, um, especially if the player knows how to use them correctly and in the right situations. It can be extremely deadly and almost impossible to defend at certain times. Um, so moving on, to use these skill moves, you must have a player with five star skill moves if you have a player with less than five star skill moves, this move will not work, so keep that in mind, guys. Let's first start off with the regular Elastico. As y'all are watching this skill move video, I would suggest you guys being in the practice arena with a five star skiller to help uh, just go along and do these moves as I'm explaining it for you guys. So to perform this skill move, you will be rolling your right stick downwards 180 degrees from the right side of your player to the left side of your player. In other words, I like to look at my player's shoulders and start the right stick at my right shoulder and then roll the right stick downwards 180 degrees towards my player's left shoulder. So if you kind of just look at your player's shoulders and use that as kind of a measure of where you should start and end your move, um, that'll help a lot once you get that mastered. Um, so now with the reverse elastico, it's basically the same exact thing, but you will rotate the right stick in the opposite direction because it's reversed. So for example, with the normal, we went right to left. So with the reverse elastico, we will be rolling the right stick from the left to the right this time. So once you have practiced the elastico and you feel like you mastered it, the reverse elastico should be extremely easy because it's basically the same exact thing, but in a different direction. I hope y'all are liking this series. Um, I'm enjoying editing these videos and making these videos because I really do like helping people out, especially when it comes to skill moves because I am a really big fan of skill moves. Like honestly, if there weren't like skill moves in this in FIFA, it just would not be nearly as fun. Skill moves is what makes this game fun for me. Um, and yeah, I just love doing skills and it's just so fun beating people one-on-one -on -one and embarrassing them. So if you'd like to do that as well, these skill moves are very good for embarrassing your opponents. So as you'd expect, this skill move is very good in one-on-one -on -one situations, when, especially when a player is running at you from a certain angle. You can do the elastico towards the left if they're running at you to the right, or you can do the elastico to the right, or the reverse elastico to the right, I guess. Um, I kind of both call them the elastico. These are basically the elastico. It's just once to the left, once to the right. Um, basically the same thing. But I don't, wouldn't say one or other is the better. It just really depends on the situation and, and where your defender's going. Like say your defender's running at, on your, like running towards your, running towards you, but kind of like towards the right of you, you're gonna wanna do the elastico inside to cut them in. But say there's like a midfielder running at you from the midfield and you're out wide, you're gonna wanna do like the reverse elastico and act like you're kind of going in and then your guy's gonna, gonna like cut it to the right and you can go down the line and beat them. Um, for me, I really like doing this skill move in the box especially if i have like if i'm playing striker and one of like my midfielders plays me the ball in the box to my feet and i have a defender on my back what i like to do i like to do the reverse elastico which is the one from the left to the right um i like to do the reverse elastico if there's a defender on my back it'll do that quick move and then usually it'll the player will think you're like going left and basically like stutter a little bit and your guy will just do the reverse elastico to the right and then you can take another touch and rip it um, they, it's just really hard for them to be able to defend that move because of just how quick it can be pulled off. And then it can just create a little bit of space for you and that little bit of space for you will just help you get that shot off and not get it blocked. So again, it's very good if you're not using skill moves in the box to create that open space because as we all know, 
AI blocking on this game is pretty ridiculous when it comes to shot blocking. So having a skill move in your arsenal that you can use in the box to create some space and get a shot off is very, very good guys. And I would highly suggest y'all work on these two skill moves. And then once you have these guys, these skill moves mastered, we'll go on with another one guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed these, these videos and I want to keep doing these. So let me know what other skill moves y'all would like to see if y'all have any other in mind. Otherwise, I'll just go over the skill moves that I think are the most effective and that I use in my gameplay. Um, so that's about it for this skill move, guys. This is going to wrap it up. If y'all like this video, please hit a like on this video. I'd really appreciate it. And if y'all aren't already subscribed, I would appreciate that as well. I think I saw in my like analytics, I think about 90% of y'all that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if y'all could do that, that would be great. I would really appreciate that. Trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. And again, try and master these skill moves, guys, and use it in your gameplay. Don't be afraid to try it out. It doesn't matter if you get scored on because they're like, who cares? It's a video game. Just try it out and see how it goes for you. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great day and peace out.